For over six months, banned drinkers register scanners have been stationed in bottle shops across the Territory and the Attorney General says they've been a success. The banned drinker register is stopping the supply of alcohol to those people that cause harm. But the government has said it will consider a proposal that the BDR scanners be stationed behind the bar in regional territory pubs. Yes, we will seriously consider whether um, the BDR is expanded. Uh, it's a recommendation of the Riley Review. One of 23 recommendations in a new report the government commissioned into the BDR has proposed the scanners be used in hotels in Tennant Creek, Alice Springs and Catherine for the first time that is done in other jurisdictions overseas uh, and we will consider any measure that keeps Territorians safer. Currently there are five and a half thousand people on the BDR but that number could soon increase. The report is also recommending people be automatically placed on the register for three months if they have committed an alcohol related domestic violence offence. But this is a difficult issue. As I said it's the biggest social challenge we're facing in the Northern Territory but as a government we're determined to tackle it. Despite a recent spike in alcohol-related violence in the Territory, the report authors say the BDR is working, but that it should be just one of several policies used to tackle alcohol-related harm. Our key messages out of the evaluation are that uh, we need to be reminded that the BDR is only one strategy uh, of a range of many. Something the government agrees with. We certainly need other measures to tackle this huge issue in the Northern Territory. The government is yet to commit to any of the recommendations but says the BDR is currently being reviewed and once that process is over there could be changes but for now the BDR will stay as it is. Elias Kluwer, ABC News.